everyone, to the Collect Jurassic. I'm here with a huge Jurassic World toy unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at a few really cool epic attack sets. We have the Crash and Attack Ford Explorer, the Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Pachycephalosaurus, and the Final Clash T-Rex pack. All three of these are kind of interesting little releases here because if you recall, Epic Attack is actually a line that's Walmart exclusive here in the U.S. We had a few figures come out, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, a JP3 Raptor, but these sets right here never hit the U.S. Uh, perhaps they still could, but honestly, uh, my money's on the fact that they aren't going to hit here anytime soon because they've been going, um, you know, selling in other countries, which is how I got these two. Huge shout out to my friends Ernesto and, Sir, and Sebastian for helping me get um, all these toys you see here today. Um, the Ford Explorer pack that's available in Germany and Mexico. Um, I think the T-Rex the versus Packy sets, just Mexico. And then this uh, Final Clash pack up here. Um, that one is a little bit harder to find in Mexico as well. But also I got this one from Amazon Japan. So you'll see there's uh, some Japanese writing on that package, which is kind of interesting. But packaging aside, we're going to open these up anyway, right? Um, and uh, take a look at the figures. Do some comparisons. Going to compare the Explorer here, compare the Rex, compare some of the sizes here because these sizes across this entire line are just totally weird and wonky and sort of messed up. Kind of charming, kind of annoying too, right? Um, but let's go ahead and dive right in because we have a lot to get through. We'll go ahead and start here with this uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Pachycephalosaurus pack. We've got the two dinosaurs clearly framed in box. Um, they look nice and big because they are nice and big, which you'll see here in a second. That's why they look so great in this box. I mean, the box is big. It's as big as the Explorer box, as big as the T-Rex box. So the figures inside are kind of uh, filling up that space because they're oversized. Um, as far as the packaging goes, pretty standard epic attack. You got the sub logo. You got the Carnotaurus roaring. That's kind of the key skew here. Three levels of intensifying damage outlined over here. Then in the back, they show um, kind of the different um, levels of action that when you press the button, kind of if you recall from other Epic Attack reviews I've done, the more you press the button, the different feature effects you get. Also have those other two available on the back of this one as well. So um, what could have been had this ever come to the US, right? So let's go ahead and pop both of these out. I'm thinking it's just a pretty simple snip. And I gotta say, I'm a little bit regretful opening these up because they do, they did cost a little bit to get here and they are probably going to go up in value because they are so rare, right? But that's okay. I open up all my toys, so not a big deal for me to be uh, opening these ones up uh, like everything else, just the way it goes in my collection. So go ahead and get that one out. Looks like we have a tail that needs to be attached back here, which... Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do easily. So let's go ahead and cut open the end of this box so that we can do that. Um, knife here, cut it open. There we go. Perfect. And we should be able to get access here to the tail piece back here without knocking over hopefully everything behind us. So pull this tray out. You can see there's sort of a tray back here and then the tail is in there. So let me just pop it out. There we go. Perfect. Tail is popped out. We'll go ahead and put that box to the side and snap the tail on here. Now going back now. Twist it into place. I think that, nope. I think I know. Oh, I'm already uh, activating the action feature too. So here is Packy versus T-Rex, um, both figures out of the box. Now we'll go ahead and move this one over. So let's take a closer look at the baby T-Rex here. You can see in my hand, it's a pretty large figure for a baby T-Rex. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a legacy figure here in a second. We can do a human comparison, but let's talk about the figure itself before we start picking on how big it is. It does have some nice articulation with the arms that go back and forth. Joints are nice and tight. Same with the legs. The legs aren't ratcheted. They just rotate um, as you please. So. Um, they can kind of go in either which way. He does sort of have a fixed pose he wants to be in. Oh, I'm already hitting that action feature. Um, but, you know, you can probably, yeah, you can twist the legs back to do like a running pose and all that stuff. So a little bit of articulation on him. Um, he does have the tail that twists too, but I never really count that as articulation. So um, everything else is going to be tied. Um, well, you know what? I think his jaw actually does open up independent of an action feature, if I'm not mistaken, if I can get it open. I keep hitting the, uh, the action feature instead. Let me go ahead and try to get this open. 
There we go. All right, just needed to kind of pull it out. So the jaw does open. You can see it's got a nice little painted teeth in there. The eye looks really nice. It's got a little um, glare on it with the pink around it. So really nice face paint, including the teeth paint and the tongue. That's really cool. And then it has this sort of lighter color that blends the jaw in with the rest of the body and those green stripes. Very much kind of like their previous iterations of this figure in terms of the coloration. So um, we also have that scan tag back here that I'll pop out before I forget that just pops into the tail. Low profile. And then of course we have the main, the main idea, right? The epic attack uh, sort of like electronic feature, which I really like on all these figures. I mean, you can clearly see the outline there, but you can't see any red or anything. But when you press it, it's got the little uh, T-Rex roar from Lost World. Does different blinking and different pulsating. Yeah, that's literally from uh, Lost World. That's so cool. So three different sound effects, three different lighting effects with those sounds um, that you can just press from the action feature. So it's a really cool idea they had in theory. I just wish they had like actually released all, all these toys, but you know, there is some, um, there is some compromises like the speakers they all have on the side here. Obviously they kind of hit it like a slash mark, but it is a little obnoxious looking on that one. But yeah, I mean, this guy is a, he's a big Rex. If we put him next to like Alan Grant, you can see that, um, it's basically like a young Rex, not really like a baby Rex, which is kind of cool. I guess if you want to get into some head cannon, you can have a T-Rex that's slightly bigger than, um, you know, than what you would have expected uh, a baby T-Rex to be from Lost World. It's definitely tall. Compared to other versions of the figure, we, of course, have the Legacy Collection figure that came out um, way back in 2019. So really similar paint, app, paint uh, I guess I should say direction here. I wouldn't say that applications match, but um, you can see, you know, how small he is compared to little baby Rex next to him. We also have the new Hammond Collection one, which I've never gotten a chance to review, but you can see how these all sort of have similar paint direction on them, especially um, Hammond and uh, this, this Epic Attack one. They have very similar eyes even, um, similar like greens they've chosen to use, similar blending with the neck. Um, but this one's just bigger. And if you ask me, it looks more like the Lost World Baby T-Rex than this Hammond Collection version. The teeth on this one, kind of stubby. He looks a little, I don't know, he looks like a raptor more than a T-Rex to me. He looks like his legs could be longer or something like that. And it's a nice figure, and I'm not here to review <laughs> review or pick on that one, but for my money, this guy actually looks more like a Lost World T-Rex, um, aside from his massive size. Sculpt-wise, he actually looks pretty close. Next up, we have Pachycephalosaurus. Um, uh, you know, very similar to the Pachycephaly stores we've gotten before. It's a pretty common mold that's been going on since uh, 2018. This is the most recent Dominion version of the Pachy, but you can see it's really the same exact figure sculpt-wise, size-wise, all that stuff. I'll run us through the sculpt real quick just so we have that information, but, you know, it's got a nice little pebbly features, right? It does look like maybe the feet are a little bit different compared to the Legacy version, a little bit chunkier maybe it'll help it stand a little better yeah definitely has larger feet for sure definitely has larger feet and this has been a problem with this one it's always been had a really hard time standing up so it looks like they did a little bit of slight retooling on this one to give him really thick padded feet but you can see he's got the scales on his feet he's got the ridge scales on his um on his arms you know pretty decent detail throughout the head is nice. It's got the eyes, of course, a little bit of metallic paint around the eye, which is not to be missed. I really like this one, though, because a lot of the other figures are so, like, bluish, coolish, and this one definitely has a little bit more of a warmer, foresty vibe. So I appreciate that for it being a lot different than a lot of the other packies we got. Um, you know, action feature-wise, a lot of these have the headbutting action. This is obviously going to be uh, electronic feature. But yeah, I mean, these are basically the exact same figure size-wise and sculpt-wise. Um, but kind of getting into the articulation of this one, it's going to have the same thing as the Rex, just those really simple hinges on the legs that let it move around. Really nice, sturdy plastic, too. It doesn't feel cheap, probably because of those electronics. has to be a little bit higher quality. The... Um, the uh, arms, of course, go back. And then I think it does have, yeah, some slight articulation on the head, too. So you can kind of look packy around 
which is nice. Can't rot can't adjust the neck, but that's pretty common with all of these. Um, probably something to do with the electronics. Oh, and before I forget, got the scan tag back there. Interesting that the scan tags open in opposite directions. They pretty much always open with the head facing this way, but because it's a two pack and they're dueling, maybe they wanted to kind of make it opposite. So kind of a funny, funny little detail there. But yeah, it just pops in the back. Pretty easy to hide away and never think about. And with that, let's talk about the action feature. So similar to the Rexy over here, um, we have like three different sound effects. It doesn't really sound like a packy to me per se, but um, it works just the same. Different sounds, different lights, different light sequences, pulsating, flickering. Kind of sounds like a Scorpius Rex to me. But these two are obviously ready to duel ready to go, even if they don't have the perfect scale, right? Um, the T-Rex definitely sized up so that it can accurately fight the Packy, right? Um, but yeah, that's our uh, that's our two-pack uh, unboxed and reviewed there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next few toys and we'll get them all out at the end and do a big, big giant group shot of all the epic attacks. So this next one is one I've been really excited for. And honestly, I'm super bummed that it didn't come to the US because it's a great little set here with the Explorer that crushes. Uh, the Raptor is the Raptor, whatever. But this Explorer is really, really cool. And it's definitely a bummer that um, it didn't come here. I mean, especially when the Explorer set at Target seems to be doing so well. Um, you know, they always have it on the shelf. So it's obviously always selling. Um, why couldn't Walmart get their version of the Explorer that is, um, you know, crushable? We'll never know. And, you know, I could be wrong. Maybe this will show up uh, this holiday season. But like I said, I'm not counting on it. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed this one. Um, so let's go ahead and get this one out of the box and take a look at everything inside here. Um, you know, I already kind of went over the packaging for Epic Attack uh, in general, but this one, you know, it obviously shows the same thing with the Raptors lighting effects. Gives you a little bit of preview of the um, smashing function or the crashing function. It also has those previews for the other figures too. So, but yeah, I'm very excited to get this one out and take a look at it next to our other Explorer. All right, the Raptors should come out pretty easily. Just a couple snips here and it pops right out. The Explorer on the other hand might be a little bit more of a process to get it out nice and clean but don't worry i'm a professional so i should be able to do it without too much trouble go ahead and pop this plastic piece out pop this out and then i believe it has a little screw on the bottom of course to keep it uh secured in place like a lot of vehicle toys do so we'll go ahead and just unassemble this bottom flap take that out in theory <laughs> take that out really easily um put this raptor over here so he's not scraping around how are we getting this out looks like i might have to reach inside and push this pin out maybe yeah so go ahead and just reach in there twist this that way there's one out and then see if I can reach in and do the other one without totally mangling this box. Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. I love the security features they do on this stuff. It really makes it fun to unbox live on camera. We'll go ahead and just tear this box open. I know there's people out here that I kind of drive crazy tearing the boxes open like this, but they're going to go in the garbage anyway. What's the hurt, right? All right, now we get a clearer view of this right here. And we should be able to just, yep, pop it out, as I suspected. Getting actual access to it makes it much easier. I see there's some instructions in there. We'll go ahead and consult those if we need to. But I'm pretty sure this thing is relatively self-explanatory. So there's our Crash and Attack Explorer. Here's our Velociraptor, right? Let's go ahead and take a look at this Velociraptor first. So you can notice right off the bat that this one definitely looks like a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, at least Mattel's version of it with these greens and especially this gold eye. Very much reminds me of the 
Gold Eye Legacy Raptor we got from a few years ago um, with the Hammond pack, and then sort of kind of the same thing again um, with the Lex and Tim pack. Very much have the same gold eyes, which I really dig that. I think it's a really cool way to kind of differentiate the Jurassic Park Raptor from like all the yellow eyed Raptors we've gotten. But really, the paint coloration kind of reminds me too of some of the more recent Raptors we've gotten for Jurassic Park, like this one in the Raptor containment set. A little bit more vibrant of a green. I would say this one definitely lands somewhere in the middle of these two in terms of that saturation there and all that. So um, yeah, that's that's the uh, that's for um, paint wise. That's the comparison. Size wise, you can see this guy is much much larger than your regular Raptor. See, you can see right there just how much larger it is. And not just height, too. I mean, the proportions of this one are much, much chunkier. He's got a much thicker neck, obviously. I mean, a much thicker neck, much bigger skull. Um, I don't know if you can get a sizable comparison of how much bigger the skull is. But um, pretty pretty much uh, about a one and a half times larger um, than your standard Mattel uh, Velociraptor. And I don't even have him sort of standing all the way up. He's kind of crouched down still. So a big Raptor. Again, we'll put it next to a human, uh, similar to the the Rex. It's just so much bigger than it should be. Um, I have seen, I think it was Jurassic Park Compound, Ted Brothers did a really great repaint of this as a Utah Raptor, which makes sense. It definitely scales in that direction as sort of like a bigger Raptor, but seeing it next to Alan Grant, it's obviously far bigger than it should be, right? Um, but so yeah, size-wise, definitely a big figure. But I do think that the uh, sort of, um, you know, coloration is cool because, it, again, it is a Jurassic Park Rex. Love those those gold um, those gold eyes. I think that really makes this guy. But yeah, nice little detailed mouth there with the pink gums and the tongue and the white teeth. So that part of it certainly looks nice and crisp. No paint on the claws, of course. A little bit of that dark paint on the back, but that's really... All the paint love that this poor raptor gets. Yeah, let's go. Go ahead and play with the action feature. Trying to get this tail put in the right spot. I can never tell. Yeah, there we go. How to put these tails on. So it'll be just like the ones we already looked at. So three different modes of flickering and all that stuff. I do wonder if it's the same as the Jurassic Park 3. Damage Raptor. Oh yeah, definitely. Same exact roars. Same exact flickering. So yeah, very similar to this one. Obviously the head sculpt on this guy's um, completely different, which I love. It actually looks like the Jurassic Park 3 Raptor. Otherwise they're the same, um, looks like they're the same sculpt um, throughout uh, arms, legs, tail, body. Um, same exact as that one. So that is the uh, Jurassic Park Velociraptor that comes with this Explorer. But let's talk about the Explorer. I mean, that's really the star of this set, I feel like, is this Explorer. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This Raptor seems like he's gonna, he's about to fall over. So hopefully he doesn't. Yeah, he's going to fall over. We'll go ahead and put him over there by Packy and hope that he stays put. So we got the Jurassic Park Ford Explorer number four. Um, got all of the details you'd expect, the green and red, the uh, Jurassic Park logos on the side, the number, even has Ford Explorer in the back here, the little Ford symbol. You got the number four license plate, of course. Have the headlights. Headlights are have decals. So all the details are here. It even has on the inside, it has the console and the driver, the um the uh, steering wheel, all that stuff. You know, there's no way to open the doors to look at those necessarily because of the action feature here. The action features, uh, two of them. One, the canopy opens uh, just like that. So yeah, our, and then it does that too. <laughs> Hold on, we're not to that part yet. I'm just trying to do this first. Um, but yeah, I think you're just supposed to open this. Let me just double check the instructions here make sure I'm, yeah you just basically pull open pull this open it kind of snaps up 
Um, so that's how you can probably get figures inside since the doors don't open. Um, but once you put that down, you can crush this thing. I think crushing is as simple as pushing it down. Yeah, it literally just crushes in your hands. The hood pops open. You can see a bunch of like engine pieces, very much like the uh, old Kenner Explorer. Um, obviously this whole body part crushes in too. Um, and it just becomes sort of a smashed vehicle, right? Um, really what's selling me on that is this this cracked open hood more than just the condensed pieces. But you can kind of see how this would be, you know, crushed on the ground too and get a little bit more closer to the ground with that. But it's pretty pretty easy to reset it. I believe you just pull it up and yeah, it resets very snappy and smooth. Such a cool idea. I'm, again, I'm just bummed that uh, this guy's not coming to the US because it's such a nice play feature on that thing. But let's go ahead and do a comparison to the other Explorer we have. That's the uh, Legacy Collection Explorer that came with um, a T-Rex set. They're definitely very much um, the same in many ways, including like the overall mold is exactly the same vehicle. Obviously things have been retooled for that action feature, but otherwise they uh, have the same place of, placement of windows, all that stuff. Um, one thing I noticed just looking at them, like this side by side is, um, you know, we have this red top that's red all the way throughout red plastic versus this one where the red is stripes and it kind of stays green all the way through the top. So that's probably the biggest difference. You still have the yellow hubcaps, still have the yellow to green fade. One thing I think is interesting about um, the Legacy Collection version compared to uh, the uh, this new Epic Attack version is this decal on the hood is a decal on the Legacy Collection version. It's literally a sticker they put on with red stripes. So you can see the seams of the sticker. Always makes me nervous. Stickers have to gonna last that long. But on this new Epic Attack version, this is actually painted on. There's no sticker there. Um, even this logo, oh, this logo is a sticker, which makes sense. But before that was all part of this one big sticker piece that is on the hood of this. This one does not have it, it's painted. So a little bit better, I think, in the long run. This one has um, stickers on the doors. This one also has stickers on the doors. So they're very hard to tell that they're there, but there's definitely um, little clear stickers on the doors to get those Jurassic Park logos on there. Otherwise, um, you know, they're basically the same. They both are number four. Um, don't get a new Jeep number. They both have that silver detailing of the Ford logo and the blue Ford, uh, silver detailing of the Explorer logo in the blue Ford logo, the license plates the stickers for the headlights, all that stuff is the same. Even the interiors both have tan seats with a kind of red console. It does look like this one has a little bit uh, narrower center console, probably because the seats are pushed in a little bit more to make room for that awesome crushing action feature, which I cannot get enough of. I think that's awesome. And obviously this one can't do it. This one has a pushing in glass. This one has the glass that pops up, but you can't really beat that crushing feature. That's just really, really cool. So you can actually display this thing crushed now, which is definitely my plan to do. Um, I do wish I had both Explorer numbers across uh, what Mattel was doing, but maybe someday they'll give us another Explorer. Um, but yeah, just to test real quick, we can pop this window open and stick Alan Grant inside. And he fits in perfectly fine. Just a different way to put him in versus the Legacy Collection version, which features opening doors, which is pretty slick too. So they both have their pros and cons, right? Um, but I'd say for me, I'm preferring this version, actually. I like the way that the top is solid red. And I love that crushing feature. That is just too cool. Reminds me of the Kenner version, but even better. So um, pretty cool there. I love how fast it resets. So that is the Crash and Attack Explorer set. We got the Explorer. We got the Velociraptor with it. The huge Velociraptor, mind you. Look how big this thing is compared to the vehicle. Um, I guess it's meant to attack it, but it seems too big for me. Um, let me see if I can get this Raptor to stand up. It seems like he just wants to fall down. One foot is just a little bit too leaned one direction. So, all right, let's go ahead and get to the final clash pack. Go ahead and move these dinosaurs out of the way. That raptor still is not going to want to stand. Here it is, final clash pack. I did say in the beginning of the review, I got this from Amazon Japan. So you can see all this nice Japanese uh, 
uh, stickers. They're literally stickers that go over it. I tried to peel it off. You see, um, does not come off easy. They have stickers here. They got a sticker up here. They have a bunch of stickers on the back um, that, that detail everything. I mean, these are literally stickers they put over the existing artwork, meticulously placed. Um, seems high effort, but I guess if they only have to make one box and then do stickers for everything else, that's worth it. Um, one cool thing about this one, besides just obviously showing all the different action features here, is that it shows a couple canceled figures. I gotta assume they're canceled because uh, there's no sign of them, and we've already moved on to the new Epic Evolution toys, but we have a a Epic Attack Atrociraptor Red and an Epic Attack Dimetrodon that look really cool. Um, but I don't think those are coming at this point. I'm guessing these, we'll never see these um, even in a different country. I think they're basically canceled at this point. But let's go ahead and get Rexy and Raptor out here. Um, hopefully, there'll just be a couple snips, but I also have a feeling that the T-Rex is um, pegged in at the bottom, sort of like that Explorer was. So... Yep, Raptor's gonna come right out, no surprise there. And yeah, we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get crafty with this with this this side of the box. I like this amber texture here though. This is kind of cool. Did the other ones have that? I, I, that's kind of neat. So yeah, we can just hopefully get some better access, a little bit better access, and snip out these pieces, get the tail out of there tails out uh, get the rest of the body out hopefully and then we just have those those feet which again I'll have to twist these if I can got one Let's see if I can go go for two yep got it, got it and then we'll just go ahead and pop the tail on and take a take a look at this guy so the tail should just pop on any, any which direction. There we go. Yeah, it rotates. I was going to say, I know it rotates. Then we can twist the feet back to where they're supposed to be. Man, those are stiff. Makes me nervous. All right, and now we have the Rex fully assembled out of the box, looking Really nice. Love the paint scheme on him. Let's go ahead and look at the Raptor. I'll keep this one short and sweet. This, by all accounts, is the exact same Raptor we just looked at with the Explorer set. Hopefully he stands a little better, but literally no change. The coloration looks the same. I mean, you could maybe say that the stripes are a little bit more defined on one, but that really could just be factory variants. They look like they have the exact same paint down. Obviously they're the exact same sculpt. Meant to be the exact same figure, right? Definitely not supposed to be two different ones. So, oh, he stands way better than my other raptor. So, there you go. So, I got two of these raptors now to fight the T-Rex. Got the same action features as the other one. So, hey, I can I can uh, recreate a more epic uh, Jurassic Park showdown here, right? Um, with my two raptors. But let's go ahead and take a look at the Rex. That's who we're really here to look at. I love the coloration on this thing. It's kind of got like a muted feel to it with these darker browns um and of course it's got the painted claws which i love those look really nice but yeah it's got this really nice darker color throughout the whole top of it that looks super i mean I, I wish it went down to the tail but i love how saturated it is and how it contrasts with the rest of the figure those tiger stripes look really cool goes all the way up to the neck the head looks great definitely a little bit different than the coloration we're used to seeing it's got those rubber teeth too versus those painted teeth which i like sorry i'm activating the action feature before we get to that point we have the the legs that are on a small sort of soft ratchet that let it go up and down very smooth we got the arms that have double joint articulation so not just back and forth but also out a little bit different than your standard t-rex of this size this is definitely based on the epic attack t-rex size um, not the featured t-rex size so it's kind of a little bit smaller but um yeah, I don't know if any of the other ones have that nice of articulation with the arms. I didn't pull a recent one to do a comparison, but I did pull one to do a comparison. We'll take a look at. Then, of course, you have the 
uh, neck articulation that's just at the base of the head. You know, the normal figure has it in two places, but this one obviously for electronics is gonna have a little bit different. And then you have the uh, mouth that opens, which is actually a button on the neck. The classic T-Rex roar, love that. Got a couple different roars, it looks like. I love the classic roar, though. Then we have two action buttons, too. We have one on the neck here. So a couple different kind of wounded roars. Then we have this big button on the side. Seems like it's almost the same noises. Yeah. Yeah, so same noises across both buttons, same lighting effects, just two different spots. Um, but yeah, basically meant to simulate, you know, you got the Raptors attacking this at the end of the movie, hence the final showdown. Granted, the Raptors are huge this time, right? But uh, they can attack it. He can roar at them. He can fight them. All that good stuff. Um, cool little action features. And of course, you can also take this T-Rex and do the thing we've been waiting to do the entire review, which is effectively crush this explorer. You can even put it on its back and step on it triumphantly. And that's what we've been waiting for, right? That shot right there. You can finally do it with these two figures. Uh, the crushed explorer is finally a reality. Um, reset that slick as can be yeah i just love the paint coloration on this t-rex i love the darker colors on the legs even i mean they did a really good job which again is a shame that this isn't going to be more widely available because it might just be one of my favorite rex paint decos ever i don't know if it's necessarily jurassic park accurate but it certainly feels like something that belongs in the jurassic franchise unlike some of the other colorations we see Ooh, before i forget we also have the scan tag up here Right there, right above the tail. Definitely one of the rare scan tags you'll find in this video since this, this Rex is so hard to find. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love the, the limited neck articulation. Again, this is definitely heavily based on the um, already existing, um, uh, what, what do we call this one? Epic Chompin' T-Rex. So it's literally the exact same sculpt, if you will. Same exact figure, um, just has that limited our neck articulation obviously for the electronics but it also has more articulation on the arms which is an interesting choice but they do the same thing they have the same roars and all that stuff um you can see in my opinion just how much nicer uh this epic attack version looks right it just looks cool and the speakers are actually a little bit better hidden on this um versus you know one of these smaller figures where we have the, the slash marks which are a little little obnoxious in my opinion so um but yeah this thing is definitely uh one of my favorites of this entire line um followed very closely by this explorer maybe the explorer is even even more fun i think just because of that awesome action feature but you know we also have the carnotaurus i've done a review before who's very similarly sized to this t-rex um i already brought out the Dilophosaurus, um, or the Jurassic Park 3 Raptor. We also have the Dilophosaurus. And then, of course, we have the ones I just unboxed, like the baby T-Rex. The, um, there's that, the Packy. We're gonna do a big family photo here. Um, this Raptor is the one that doesn't wanna stand up. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is the whole line as, as far as what you can actually track down a little bit of effort. You'll never find that the Metrodon and Atrociraptor because I just think those don't exist and they aren't coming out. But, um, you know, all in all, it would have been a cool line if they released everything they were going to release like this Explorer and T-Rex. And I really wish those were coming to Walmart still so all y'all could track them down because it is just a really cool set that, you know, obviously has that really dynamic action feature. But this Rex is just beautiful too. We'll do one last awesome roar but yeah these toys were definitely cool to open happy to add them to my collection especially that rex and that explorer hope uh all you out there who wanted a closer look at these are kind of satisfied with what i went over here today and of course got all those scan tags for you people out there that want those too but i think that's all i got again i'm timothy collect jurassic thanks for watching and i'll see you next time